beforehand, there's going to be a happy ending. Well, I tell you what, it's even more fun knowing how it comes out. I got to tell you that I went to all the games and it got a little stressful while we were going through. All the stress is gone now. I can watch the DVD and enjoy every bit of it. I saw Haas later and I said, Haas, you took off from third base. And I was yelling, no, Haas, no. And he said, oh, I thought you were yelling, go, Haas. Smolkes <laughs> wasn't a quick sign. Chris Young wasn't a quick sign. Franklin Morales wasn't a quick sign. Kendris was a controversial sign. And um, so, you know, they're all different, but, um, you know, we'll evaluate it. And, you know, we'll, like I said, do the best we can to, you know, add the right pieces. The important thing is, is our, our good core is together. The Hell Yeah part was yeah. about as emotional as I could get at that time and still be kind of under control a little bit. But uh, Cologne, he, he seems like he's made a career out of being in that clutch position, you know, scoring the run last year and then driving in the run this year. One of those kind of players that you, you, you hope for, you know, you wish well for, and he's always prepared, like he said. And for him to come through with that, it, it was something special for all of us, really. With uh, Jeff Foxworthy and Larry the Cable Guy, they had two sold-out shows in Branson, and um, we were sitting on a balcony, and we looked out, and Larry goes, man, look at all the people that are here. So Jeff walked over, and they looked up, and they go, hey, Jeff, hey, Larry, and I walked over, and the place went nuts. Ned, Ned. <laughs> and Larry the Cable Guy literally said, you get the hell out of here right now. This is our show. What are you doing? Here? But, it, you know, it, it, was, it was neat. Yeah, a lot of people were excited.